All right. Uh, my wife felt we ought to do a saw sharpening video. Um, I always like to use a vise. That's a personal preference. You make sure that the, the vise clamps on the bar only, not the chain. Make sure you have clearance underneath so the chain can move. And then I always mark the first tooth with a marker, permanent marker. That way you know where you started. Because like right now, we just done a little bit of cutting. I got a couple teeth. That one right there in particular is, they're just slight nicks. Sometimes you can't tell where you sharpened. Other times you really can. So, um, we're going to sharpen these teeth one side, then flip the saw around to the other side. These little things here are called rakers. They clean the groove out. This does the cutting. This cleans the debris before this tooth gets to the next spot. We won't be filing those down. You do those just occasionally, probably every third or fourth sharpening. So we'll, if you look at the chain teeth, there's a line there. Not sure if this camera will pick it up, but we'll try. And that line gives you the angle that you want to keep the sharpened edge at. And you need to sharpen everything from there down in the shape of the file. So we'll get started. Keep your file level, steady pressure the whole way across the, the cut. to my original mark each tooth should be filed on both sides each tooth should be filed same number of passes roughly occasionally you'll have one that's for whatever reason you have to make an extra pass but generally all the same and we'll flip this all this and I'll step on the other side of you okay all right here's my marked tooth as a guide we'll start one behind it
and we're back to our reference tooth. First, first few times you do this, you invariably make one side straighter or more angled than the other side. It'll cause your cut on your firewood or logs. It'll you'll see a we call it butterballing. Um, that's to be expected. It's a skill that only gets better by using it. You can't really be taught. You have to just kind of see the basics and then play with it till you figure it out. And that'll do it. Okay.